I got the inspiration from Bird at a writer's conference. Kathy Appelt was there, she was speaking, and she was just coming out with her latest book, Keeper, which is about a girl who thinks that her mother turned into a mermaid because her mother was lost at sea. And I remember just being enthralled by that idea of somebody thinking that they were something else. And, um, and I thought, well, what if a boy thought that he was a bird? What would that look like? And then I thought, oh my gosh, what would happen next? And I just saw in that moment this little boy standing at the edge of a cliff with his arms spread out wide because he thought he was a bird and jumping. And I saw bird fall in my mind's eye. And it was like a movie, like, like panning through my mind. And at that time, like, as I saw the boy fall through the sky, I heard this girl's voice. Grandpa stopped speaking the day he killed my brother John. And it was like she was narrating to me. And so I got my butt out of bed, fired up my computer, and wrote my first chapter, and that's how Bird started. Jewel's a mixed race kid like me, and there's a lot of myself in her. I grew up in a small Midwestern town, uh, and everyone else around me was largely not mixed race, and so I would get a lot of questions like, what are you? And that was always really confusing to me, like, why am I a what, but everyone else is a who? And I never really understood like where that was coming from. I did a lot of research when writing Bird. I did a lot of food research, which was really great. Other than the food research, I did a lot of research on the culture and their belief systems, um, everywhere from college textbooks to books to uh, websites, um, newspapers, forums, like you name it, uh, I, was, I was on it. Uh, race and culture are really important to me, and so it was really important that I got Jewel's culture and race right, um, and I hope I did.